Morris, thank you. Thank you, Mike. The terror attacks have killed at least 132 people. That's expected to rise. Left more than 350 injured, 99 of them seriously. And as the full reality of the situation sinks in, how can the world deal with this unspeakable trauma? Behaviour expert Dr Dane Heer joins us now. Hello, Dane. How are Morning. you? Over the, over the last few days, we've seen this uh, horror unfold. What... What is, the, what is the reaction? How do we begin to even wrap our head around this? Well, I think that's exactly it. It is so much. And the first thing we need to recognize is it's occurring around the world. The world is in mourning, at least the Western world at this point. And the thing is, if you've ever been around somebody who's sad and you pick up that sadness, well, the world is in sadness right now. So the first thing you want to recognize is it's a natural response to this trauma. But you can sort of relieve the elephant off of your shoulders if you look and ask, okay, who does this belong to? Is all of this mine? What tiny part do I have? Because what we're doing is we're picking it up from billions of people at this point. If it lightens up at all when you ask who does this belong to, if you feel like you can take a deep breath or it feels like there's less heaviness, keep asking that until you have a sense of enough lightness to carry on because what our world needs right now is some people who have some lightness to show us the way. So what you're suggesting is opposite to the way many of us would feel right now because you want to feel that sadness. You want to feel sympathy and empathy right now. Yes. And that comes with heaviness. Yeah, and that's the difficulty is that's exactly what we're seeing right now is a lot of people desiring to do that. And it does come with heaviness. And the thing is, we think that somehow that's our caring. You know, look, Paris, we're with you, you know. Mm -hmm. And what we have to recognize is what happens to one of us happens to all of us on this planet. And yet... What if what this is showing us is that we need to change our fundamental way of being here, our fundamental way of functioning, and rather than going into the trauma and drama, because if we all are in the trauma and drama, there's nobody to pull us out. Okay. What if the people watching could actually have a different choice for helping their friends and family members? Okay, so how you, you remove that weight from your shoulders, as you right. put it. How, what else can you do to help process what has happened? Well, let's look at it this way, is what one small thing can you do on a daily basis that would actually create the world you would like to see? You know, that may be as simple as writing a letter of gratitude to somebody. Because what happens is when you take yourself and put yourself into action, when you start creating something different that's in the direction of what you would like to see occur on our planet, you take yourself out of the apathy and, and the stop that fear creates. Fear always creates a stop. What we need to do is move forward and actually invite into the world the kindness, the gentleness, the inclusion we would like to see. It could be as simple as, hey, I'm going to smile to somebody walking down the street. You know, in Australia, when you had the I'll ride with me hashtag, you mm -hmm. showed the world that there was a different possibility. And that inspired a lot of people in a lot of countries around the world. What if this is actually our invitation? Okay, well, plenty of people around not quite sure what to do and how to deal with this. Yeah. So that's uh, answering some of the questions for us today. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank thanks. you, Jane. Well, the world in mourning has been paying their respects to the fallen in Paris with thousands of people right across the globe attending vigils and memorials. We'll be back with more soon.